Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video. Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about the rectangular coordinate system o yung mas popular bilang Cartesian plane. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So meron na kayo dito mga terminologies at name na kailangan natin tandaan when we are familiarizing ourselves with the rectangular coordinate system o yung tinatawag na natin Cartesian plane. First, we have here this name of the proponent o kung sino yung uh, gumawa ng rectangular coordinate system. At ang pangalan niya, siya si Rene Descartes. Pero iba dyan, uh, they are uh, pronouncing this name as Rene Descartes. Okay lang yan. But for me, for the sake of this tutorial, I will pronounce the name as Rene Descartes. So, si Rene Descartes is a French mathematician and considered as the father of modern mathematics. Pero nipost mo itong rectangular coordinate system we're in, yung pinaka concept na ito, uh, meron tayong dalawang line which are perpendicular to each other. So, I hope na matandaan yung pangalan niya. He's the one who proposed or yung gumawa ng ating rectangular coordinate system at napaka-wide ng mismo application itong uh, mismo rectangular coordinate system na meron tayo. Next, we have the origin. Sa ating origin, if you, as you can see, we have here the Cartesian plane in which, at hindi ito kayo sa inyong uh, two perpendicular lines, okay? At yung isa, at yung pangalawa. If hindi ito kayo natin origin, that is the center of the Cartesian plane or the rectangular coordinate system. And to add up, to add up yung ating origin is located at 0, 0. Later on, I will explain kung ano yung ibig sabihin na 0, 0. And based sa ating illustration dito, ito yung mismo origin na meron tayo. Yung mismo center. Or, kung mapansin nyo, it is the point where um, the two lines intersect with each other. Okay? Next, we have the x-axis and y-axis. Now guys, as you can see, meron tayo itong dalawang number line. Yung ating x-axis is the horizontal number line. Horizontal number line. Tapos yung ating y-axis is the vertical number line. So kung iisipin natin, sorry na saan mo dyan yung x-axis sa kayong y-axis. Based sa simple definition na meron tayo or illustration, x-axis is the horizontal number line. Ito yung ating horizontal number line. Therefore, this is your x-axis. And sir, nasaan naman po yung ating y-axis? Ito po. Yung nakatayo. That is perpendicular to your x-axis, your y-axis. Ito yung ating vertical number line. And mapansin nyo sa ating number line, uh, meron ako dito mga numbers kung saan integers nyo naman guys. This is zero. Yung sa ating ano, y-axis. Eh? This is zero and going up are the positive integers. And zero going down along the y-axis are the negative integers. And as for the x-axis, the center is the zero. And then going to the left side of the x-axis, those are the negative integers. While here, going to the right, are the positive integers. Ganun lang kasi yung x and y axis natin. And remember that guys, ha? they are perpendicular to each other. Or in other words, meron silang nabubuo nitong right angle when they intersect with each other. Next, let's go with the word coordinates. So for sure, you're familiar with the word coordinates kasi sa mga movies, nababanggit yung mga ganyan. But in the concept of the Cartesian thing, Let's say, for example, I have this point. We have this point. We have this point in which ang bawat point sa ating Cartesian plane ay meron siyang respective coordinates. Okay? Ang hindi sabihin ng coordinates na yan, yung exact location niya. 
with respect to the x-axis and the y-axis. So, yung coordinates natin, in general, is represented by x, comma, y, wherein the coordinates are located at a given value of x and a given value of y. At yung x value natin dito ay yung tinatawag natin abscisa. Again, abscisa is the x value in a given coordinates. Next, yung y naman natin, syempre, yung tinatawag natin ordinate. That is the second value or the y value in a given coordinates. And lastly, I will add up, yung tinatawag natin quadrants. Now, as you can see guys, uh, we have the intersection of the x-axis and the y-axis on a plane. And kung hapansin nyo, it divided the given plane or the plane into four equal parts. Ngayon, sir, ano yung quadrants? The quadrants are the four different regions formed when the x and the y-axis intersected each other. So, sir, nasaan po ba yung quadrants natin? Ito po sila. This is your quadrant number one. And ang numbering nito ay counterclockwise. If this is your quadrant number 1, meaning this is your quadrant number 2, this is your quadrant number 3, and this is your quadrant number 4. And guys, I hope na natuto kayo sa video natin about the different parts uh, who proposed or who's the proponent of the rectangular coordinate system and sana na enjoy nyo itong video na to while learning. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gong. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!